Hello, <laughs> welcome again. Um, now we are studying about uh, Christmas and we are going around the Bible to uh, know what Christmas is and trying to uh, understand about the, the event of the birth of Jesus Christ and why he was born and what is the significance of the Lord, Je the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ to the human race. And all this, trying to answer all this. Now, uh, I'll continue. Uh, we'll, we'll read on um, uh, the book of uh, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter uh, 9. Um, I'll read from that part and continue to learn about the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, we said that it's not about decorating our houses. It's not about decorating uh, our areas. It's not, you know, uh, making uh, Christmas trees and celebrating Santas and all that uh, stuff that has nothing to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the West practice of the West. West. West of the West. That's West of the West. That's the dirty, the residue, and we it has nothing to do. We have to come out of that, and we don't have to participate in that manner, American style of Christmas. But we celebrate Christ Jesus in, as according to the word of the Lord. And it is our time of joy and a time of thanksgiving for the Lord God, and for Jesus Christ for coming for us and dying for uh, being born uh, on the on the stable on the manger and to 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 glorify Him, to thank Him for everything He has done for us. That's the opportunity, time of opportunity for us, and we have nothing to do to uh, to uh, celebrate in, in, a, in the style of Western, uh, where in Western style of. Um, uh, Christmas, Christmas is not like preparing Christmas tree or doing that nature, but celebrating within our inner being, in our heart, thanking. So what is Christmas? Christmas is the birth of light, the coming of light. Je, uh, um, one, nine, one, um, I'm going to read uh, Isaiah 9.1, the first part of the verse. Um, Nevertheless, the dimness, that's the darkness, shall not be such as was in her vexation, her trouble, in her problem, in her anxiety, in her all for, forms of grief. So it will be transformed. If that, that There is an, a, an event who's going to come. God is telling us, he's, he's telling us that there going to be time when all this darkness, all this grief, all this agony will disappear from her, from her. Now, verse 9, verse 2. The people that walked in darkness have seen great light. The people that walked in darkness have seen great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them has the light shined. The people that walked in darkness have seen great light. This is Christmas. This is how Christmas began. The people who walked in darkness, imagine walking in darkness, in where in all kind of horrible stuff ahead of you, and you cannot see where to go, what to do, nothing. Because the people were what? In the darkness. And then the, the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. In darkness. They were in darkness. They were engulfed by darkness. They were under total control of the darkness. The devil. But the people that walked in darkness have seen great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them has the light shined upon them. And now, now this is about the birth of Jesus Christ. In uh, the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 7, 7, 14, or the, 
where a, a woman shall be with child and she call, she shall call she she will call his name Emmanuel that is it and then uh, Emmanuel we can also in two or three places in uh, uh, Isaiah 2, 9 and I, Isaiah I mean Isaiah 8 and now Isaiah 9 is talking about the darkness and the light shining now let me read in the especially uh, 9 uh, verse 2 in Hebrew Ha'am ha'ol him, the people. Ha'ol him, bahoshe. Wow. Bahoshe. What, is, what does it say? Ha'am, the people. Ha'ol him, those went. Those go. Bahoshe. Darkness. Remember this, hoshe, the same word. What is the same word, the same Hebrew word. There are many words in Hebrew to uh, uh, say about darkness. But this is a different. It's just, this one is it's, it's connected to Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. The darkness was upon the face of the deep. The hoshe alpine tehom. Hoshe. So it's the same, the same word. Now, Ha'am Ha'olim Bahoshe, those who walked in darkness, in terrible darkness. Or Ra'u Or Gadol. Ra'u Go Or Gadol. They saw great light. Which, which Or? Vayomer Elohim. Genesis 1 4. God said, Let there be light. Vayomer Elohim. Yehi Or. Or. The same word. Or the same light, the same word. God say, let there be light. That light is here shining in their heart. And the hearts of the people who were completely engulfed under the darkness. The darkness. My friend, we live in the world which is, you know, led by darkness. You know, the killing over there because of religious, uh, those religious fanatics going around and killing. That is the darkness. The darkness, it doesn't mean that you, you, you don't have the sunlight. No. The darkness is a hurt in the hurt. It's an experience, a terrible experience that religious people uh, have in their hurt. That's why they go around and kill other people. They kill a Hindu. They kill other Muslims. They kill Christians. They kill themselves. That is the darkness. Because the devil is, you know... Uh, is a master, you know, killer, a murderer. And then he initiates and incites people to kill other people. Innocent people. That is a darkness. It doesn't mean the darkness is you don't have the sun, the sun sunshine. You may have bright sunshine, but in your heart, still you are in darkness. You may be still in darkness. But the darkness, which is a physical darkness, is not the bigger the bigger darkness, the greater darkness is in the heart of man. When men experience all kind of evil things, practice all kind of evil things, because that is the fruit of the darkness. When they kill their husbands, a woman is killed their, uh, the women kill their husbands, and the men kill their wives, and they kill their children, that's the darkness. When there is hate, that's a result of darkness. But when we come to the Lord, is joy, is love we experience. Because the devil is taken out of our heart and we uh, feel, are filled by the light of Christ Jesus. And that is Christmas. That's the real Christmas. Ha'am ha'ol him ba. Bahoshe Ra'u or Gadol. Yoshvei Be'eret Salmavet or Naga Alehem or Naga Alehem. Those people who lived in the shadow of death, the light has shined, the light has flashed and shined upon them. They experienced the light of God. 
the, as, as the shepherd were in the in the we remember those shepherds or in darkness in the countryside the, looking after their cattle their sheep and then the glory of God shined around them shined around them and then it transformed their lives that is the darkness no more darkness so the real light is when God comes in our heart and shines in us not religion no religion can give us not hinduism hinduism will never give us that it give it puts us into darkness and muslim islam is not a, a, a religion of light you cannot find light in islam allah will never give you light but god says the god of israel the true light jesus christ comes and shines in our heart and Buddhism is not uh, a religion which provides you light. Nothing. But Jesus Christ is a true light. So come to him and believe in him. Leave the other darkness over there and come be part of the light and get, be, get, tra get transformation and experience the transformation of Christ Jesus. He will transform you. The uh, Bible says, if anyone is in the, in the Lord Christ, in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. No more. No more. No more the same again. No. You will be completely different. I, I just witnessed. I was in darkness. I was in darkness before I knew the Lord Jesus Christ. But when the time comes, I knew him. And then I was just. <laughs> that was the most, most, most wonderful experience I had in my life. Yes, the birth of Christ in our heart, the shining of the light, bright light in our heart. That is Christmas. That is Christmas. So it says, and those people will never walk again in darkness, in darkness. Yes, yes. Thou hast multiplied the nation. Yes, God multiplied the nations. I am not a, of a Jew. I, have, I don't have any Jew descendants. No, I am I'm, I'm African. And the Lord came to me. So the Bible says, Thou hast multiplied the nations, not, uh, not increase the joy. They joy before thee according to the joy in harvest. And men rejoice when they divided the spoil. It's just like you go war and then fight and get all the spoil. It's just like that. You experience that joy when Jesus comes into your heart. For thou hast broken the yoke of the burden. Yes, the yoke of the burden. The devil put a, a yoke upon our shoulder, upon our neck. And Jesus broke it. The Son of God broke it. The yoke of religion, the yoke of race, or any kind of things, any kind of evil thing. And Jesus breaks that and gives you freedom. And the staff of the shoulder, the rod of oppressor, the day of, at uh, the May day of the Midian. For the battle on, now let me go to six. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon the, his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Wow! This is Christmas. It is about talking about the beginning of Christmas, the starting of Christmas on this sin-cursed world. The light on the darkness, the shining of the bright light in this world, which was completely darkened by the power of the devil. That is Jesus. Jesus came to shine on our heart. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Come to Jesus. He will counsel you. He will give you peace. He will give you every, every good thing. Every, 
ev everything which you dream good in life. It doesn't mean she's going to give you $100,000, million or something like that, but a piece which those millionaires, billionaires do not have in their heart. A piece, piece that transcends any form of thing. As a, a, a piece which trans, uh, transforms your life. That is what Jesus gives you. He is a counselor who will counsel you. Wonderful counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting father. You will have a father forever. Because Jesus is the everlasting father. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. He is the everlasting father. And the Prince of Peace. Let us see some of the words in Hebrew so that we, we had a, a better understanding. Ki yulad lanu. Ki yelad yulad lanu. A son is born unto us. Ben nitan lanu. We are given a son as a gift of God. A gift of God. Jesus is a gift of God to us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him should not perish but have the everlasting life. Everlasting life. John 3.16. John 3.16. The gospel of John 3 chapter 3 verse 16. So this is, is uh, uh, Isaiah is talking about that. We are given a son. A son, son, which will shine our heart. Who is a son, S-U-N in our heart. But as a gift, a son, S-O-N, a son of God. Nitan Lanu. Vatehi, okay. Vayikra Shimo and his name Pele Yoetz El Gibor El Gibor Mighty God El Elohim comes this is singular one El he because we say Jesus is God Jesus is God El when it's plural Elohim Vayomer Elohim plural in I was saying in uh, previously I was talking about Genesis chapter uh, one. Chapter 1, Elohim. But this one is a singular because Jesus is part of the Trinity. When the Trinity is called together, we call Elohim. But now El, El Gibor, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, great God, great, ge great God. Jesus is great God? Yes. The Muslims will... Uh, De deny that they de and others be deny that but the fact is Jesus Christ is El, El Gibor his name is El Gibor do you know what El Gibor means mighty God or great God El Gibor Avi Ad of his God, father of everlasting everlasting father everlasting eternal father father of endless time when you are with christ you are with him forever forever and ever and ever and ever that is christ the lord shar shalom prince of peace ruler ruler of peace so in christ in Christ, Christ is a, a, a ruler, a ruler who rules you in peace. You will, you will experience the peace of Christ, the peace of mind. So this is talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's great, really. It is great. It is great. Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of the government and peace therein shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon the kingdom to, 
to order to it and to establish with judgment and with justice henceforth even forever. Yes, justice, peace in Christ Jesus, in Christ, the Lord Christ. Now, let's go to uh, the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word was God. It's talking about God. People deny that Jesus, was not, Jesus is not God. People deny. That is the work of the devil. But... Let me read it in, 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 in Greek, the original. What does it say? In arche he en halagas, kai halagas en pros than thaan. And it was with God, thaas, theology, the study of God, theology. So thaas, God, it was, it was with him. Prostanthaan, kaithaas, he halagas, in halagas. And the world was God. Thaas, halagas. Thaas, in halagas. So, thaas, God himself was the word. The word became flesh. What is it? In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This is this is the same as jo, uh, Isaiah 9 verse 6 verse 6 the mighty God verse 6 and the same was with, uh, in, in the beginning was God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life in him was life in Christ was life when he came to the world, he came with his life. And the life was the light of men. The life was the light of men. It's Jesus. Everything associated with Jesus is light. Light. No more darkness. No more darkness. No. Not a single bit. No more darkness. He will be our God. He will be our leader. He will be our king. He will be our redeemer. He is our redeemer. And I, I, I am, I'm witnessing today to you. Just come to Jesus and experience him. Come to Jesus and have him. He will give you all forms of peace. In him was life and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in darkness and the darkness can be rendered if not. The light shines in darkness. Remember. God said, let there be light in the darkness. And the darkness could not resist it. But the light shined without any obstacle. When Jesus shines in your heart, he shines forever. So this is about Jesus. And Jesus is our light. Jesus is our light. Um, and also, mm, praise the God, pray the Lord. Um, it says, uh, the same came from witness. Okay. And, and John, uh, one eight, he was not the light. Okay. One nine, John one nine. That was a true light, which light is every man that comes into the world is a true light. That light is every man into um, every man who are in this world. So whoever received the Lord Jesus Christ, he will experience the true light in his heart. In his heart. He came unto his own, his own received him not. He came to the Jew and he, uh, the Jews rejected him. As many as received him, to them gave the he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. 
So this is a transformation. When you are in Christ Jesus, you came out of the darkness and be the children of God. You are not born of the flesh. That is another birth. You are born of a flesh from your mommy and your dad, but you will be born of the Spirit of God Almighty and be the Son of God, the daughter of God through Christ Jesus. You have this authority. If you receive this authority, you will be the the child. You have high privilege, a uh, high the highest, 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 highest privilege. That is to be a son, a daughter of God, son or daughter of God. So come to Jesus Christ. Today, I advise you to come to Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is a true Savior, the true God, the true Redeemer. Nobody else can save you. Nobody else can give you life. But the Lord Jesus alone, he can give you life. Thank you for following this Bible study. God willing, we'll have another Bible study in the near future. Until then, God bless you and God be with you. Amen.